Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of August. Guys, please remember these are general reading times fluid and energies can be reversed so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive if you are here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you so much welcome back guys last shuffle and we are ready let us go all right well as you know monthly maps we started in july no june actually july we did not have any readings and we are basically looking through a wider lens as to what's going on in life right now the energies that's kind of working parallelly where we are and what we are asked to do well patience is the first card that's coming in something that we need to be patient about or something that's taking time something that is kind of poking us in some ways to do something in a hurry but we feel that no or this is our higher self saying that take your time take your time gemini's let's see what more comes in that's a big card to start with wow that's a lot of cards that popped in justice there's something that we need to take our time to take a call because clearly a balanced approach is what is needed right now we need to really calm our nerves ten of waters beautiful card right there this could be for someone taking the time to you know propose or to commit to go to the next level of relationship son look at that how beautiful it is you are clearly looking at things from a very very positive manner however you do not want to rush into things everything looks beautiful absolutely fantastic there is the sense of belonging for you guys there is this sense of i have enough and more there is this sense of balance there is this sense of love and harmony and joy wonderful cards so far how beautiful everything looks great there is love there is money there is balance there is so much of happiness and positive vibes here gemini's wow look at you like seriously four of fires dude I really 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 feel hangman yeah you're taking that time but I really feel that someone is ready to tie a knot you guys are moving towards that you're taking your time because you do not want to overwhelm someone else I think you are ready but you are taking time because you don't want to overwhelm someone but you truly feel that sense of belonging you truly feel responsible for this pe person you really have a lot of love here this feels such a balanced connection that you have this could be with yourself by the way yeah wonderful my god gemini's such positive cards coming in it's just really 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 pretty that what i see here four of waters we see that's what i'm saying that it seems like why you are you know kind of going slow even though you are very sure what you want is because of someone else four of waters here you're trying to show someone else or giving them time or you are told to give them time so that they can see that cup coming to them in way that they might not have anticipated it nine of earth yeah at this point in time this energy that i feel is very very independent this energy is not really in that mode of let's get together and that is the reason why time 
is needed to come to a point where you guys can work together you guys are very good together you do feel that sense of belonging there is a lot of joy there there is celebrations here there is good times here all of that is here but just when it comes to you know going to that next level of commitment i feel that you are already on that other step a step further heart in heart energetically you are there you are told give the other energy some time there is clearly this conflict that i that i feel you know this tug of war five of fire there you're trying to work things out because this energy has been for so long independent on its own that it feels weak in some way vulnerable not even weak but vulnerable yeah there is sense of confusion or how should i go about this should i should i not and this energy is not this um nine of earth nine of pentacles that independent energy i feel it's yours this nine of air is this nine of earth energy this very independent energy that's coming in it wants to take that leap it wants to you know spread its wings this energy wants to take a step forward but doesn't know how to or isn't sure about it and for you you are just creating this beautiful scenarios in front of this energy so that somehow he or she buys it <laughs> like i'll do anything i truly feel this is this is us this is it hermit yeah time out for this person it is i feel for both the parties involved you and this other energy that i'm picking up here that you need to take that time out not from each other but from this push of taking this further you know already right then why there is no need to push you guys are having a beautiful time together this person right here this energy right here is in kind of a limbo feels happy wants to be with you but does not want to let go of the independence that they have or that the fact that they've been there for so long all by themselves and you know always held their uh, fort alone they are the ones who need to work through things and you are the one who, who's supposed to give them the time so that they can work on this and work through things and you're very much there you're holding hands and you're like you know i'm there don't worry take all the time you need we need to take a balanced approach towards this clearly gemini's but what a beautiful connection i mean that's how long-term connection works that is how you take relationships deep and if you are serious about it this is what you do you give your person enough time for them to process just because you have been on that bridge or you have crossed that bridge and you are standing on the other side doesn't mean that the other energy has to kind of you know be on your same pace and it seems like you are giving them the time like take your time i'm waiting i'm going nowhere i'm on the other side of the bridge i'm already there i'm just waiting for you with my arms spread so much love i feel here my god page of swords this is standing in your truth you are very clear as to what you want and you are there like i want this now you take your time okay 10 of waters let's clarify that spirit seven of swords there as i said you are very sure what you want it seems like there is some kind of conundrum the other energy is which is not making you doubt them it's making you doubt as to how long it's gonna take and that's the reason why patience is coming in there is no need for you to take any drastic step gemini's this is like a warning for you don't take a drastic step that might overwhelm 
this other energy who is already at the edge so your little action of affection or appreciation or just taking it a notch higher can flip the entire situation so don't go to any extreme okay just stay put be where you are i'm not saying pull yourself back because any kind of extreme behavior might affect this person's psyche and the result which might not be in your favor so just be don't have to pull yourself back you don't have to do anything extra just be who you are just have the patience and work around things justice look there's so much of love guys look at that ace of cups and the fool you guys really want to take that leap of faith with this this energy you really want to take this forward you really want to be on this new path you want to really be on this new step of commitment clearly there's a lot of love here there's a lot of you know faith in the future there's a lot of hope that is coming in there's a lot of positivity that is coming in sun please clarify the sun ten of cups i mean it's it's such a beautiful beautiful connection that i have tapped into and those that i am connecting with you guys really belong together clearly you guys really are having a wonderful wonderful um sense of understanding you guys really gel together you guys bring each other so much happiness it's like you know when you see each other the sun rises when you are together you feel that warmth of love we have the ace of cups and the ten of cups here come on guys with the sun there's so much of happiness and joy and positive energy here. I don't even feel like clarifying. I mean, I, clearly I would, but it's just so beautiful. There is clearly something in the background happening. We're going to work it out. You guys are going to work it out. King of Earth. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Look, the sense of belonging is very much there. You guys are told to focus on this rash energy that's coming in that you might land up self-sabotaging this entire situation because you might want to rush into something. And as I'm telling you again and again, you need to have the patience so that the other person has enough time to introspect and process their own emotions. Don't rush into anything. Take your time. Work through things. Eight of Pentacles. This needs time to have this kind of focus to make things work. Hangman. Let's see. This is this Nine of Pentacles energy. The other energy that we have. They are in a limbo. They want it, but they don't know how to go about it. They are still thinking about it. It's a lot of thinking and introspection going on for them. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. As I said, Four of Waters here again with the Four of Cups here. So clearly, the way this all has unfolded or unraveled in their life, they were not expecting this, you know, super love or this beautiful connection come their way. Things have definitely turned around for them. There has been a shift in their energy field in the way they are looking at things and they're learning they're learning clearly which they probably did not take as seriously as it turned out to be and they're like wow like could this really happen to me they are really at this point in time doubting their luck but yes it can happen yes guys this kind of love still exists in our virtual crazy PUBG world yes four of fire man you are ready to tie those knots and whatnot La magician you are so 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 working to manifest this big 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 change into this big love that you have into this new world that you want to enter with this you know very Romeo Juliet kind of love. Too good to be true kinds. Very beautiful, Geminis. 
Three of waters and three of wands. You're looking forward. You're looking forward to be with this person, to celebrate your commitment to each other, to celebrate this connection. Clearly. Four of waters here, spirit. Look, this person, this is what I'm saying. This person has knots in the heart. This person has abandonment issues. This person feels scared to be vulnerable. That's the reason they have always worked independently. They have made themselves very, very, you know, tough shelled. It's like that coconut shell that they have. They are from inside really, really soft. But from the outside, they really act like, you know, really really tough why because they do not want to get hurt again and with this love coming in they're getting overwhelmed they are feeling this sense of overwhelming panic i feel that i don't know i don't want to mess this up but you know i do not want to mess my head up again they have had their guards on for a very very long time gemini's for them to drop their guards to let go of them being the way they are you know a little uptight always having that shield on that guard on is difficult and you understand that it's not that you don't understand that but you really want to make things happen guys if you really want to make things happen we need to give this person time and you guys take time too to figure out how best to you know present yourself or the situation in a way that does not overwhelm this energy let's talk about this energy let's tap into this clarify please clarify the nine of pentacles the world and knight of wands look this is what i'm saying they have been living in their own world very confident you know we have this warrior with the entire armor on They've been in some kind of tough situation in life, I feel, some kind of a battlefield that they have been on. Some kind of situation wherein they had to put this armor on and they have been in this world for a very, very long time. They don't know how to get out of that armor anymore. It's like post-war trauma that a lot of our veterans had. It feels something like that, that for them to let go of that trauma is difficult. Somebody might be right now dealing with PTSD. And clearly there is so much of love here that this love can help them a lot in getting over this sense of abandonment of fear or, of, you know, something crazy might happen. They have this conflict clearly and they might push you away you might overwhelm them so just be cautious about this this is beautiful connection you do not want to mess this up but when i say that i don't say this out of fear you should do that but out of respect for the other person's past out of the affection and love that you have for this person that you are willing to be on the other side of the bridge and wait and not walk away from there Five of fire. Man, nine of pentacles. This conflicting energy is there in their head. They are so conflicted. They really want to be with you, but they do not know how to let go of that shield that they have up. The guards are not going down. That's the reason they are in this limbo. They cannot believe their luck. That wheel of fortune coming up with the four of cups. It feels like... They cannot believe that this can really happen after all that has happened to them in the past, that this truly can happen to them, that they can find this kind of connection and love, which is so clean and pure and full of joy and all of that. It's like you keep doubting if a lot has gone wrong in life, when right things, good things start happening in life, you start doubting your luck, you start doubting. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of water and nine of air. Look, queen of cups. There is a lot of compassion and love. There is no doubt about that. Clearly. And this is your energy, by the way, with that seven of cups. You are showing them in different ways how much you love them. You know, again, be cautious not to overwhelm them. Just be you. 
Just do whatever you have been doing so far. Because for them, it is going to take time and work for them to take that leap to finally, you know, they are spreading their wings. It's not that they're not spreading their wings. But it is going to take them time to finally take that, you know, first flight. Six of Pentacles. They're going to work it out, guys. You guys are going to work it out. Page of Wands. Yeah, yeah. You guys are going to work it out. It's such a beautiful beautiful spread so full of love my god so much of positive energy from your side coming in but remember gemini's energies can be reversed so it could be you you know troubled with the ptsd and uh, something from the past that you guys need to work out but whosoever it is just know that this can be worked out if you believe in love do not question your luck here don't stop questioning your luck yes it did happen for you for you it did let us get you a final word from the yogic path oracle deck spirit final word for my gemini's for this beautiful spread that we have in front of us final word for my gemini's we have it let's see China Masta. Oh my God, guys. This came out for Aquarius, your fellow air sign. And China Masta has come up for the first time ever. I've been using this deck for a very long time. This was one of my first decks, you know, the first in the first 10 or the first five, I think, when I got this. I don't use this very often because I feel I'm going to destroy this because it's so beautiful. So what I mean is that this energy this transitional very very intense energy has not popped in for so long it's been almost an year and it's popping out now for air signs transformational times going on it's a transition of sorts going on let me read this out for you guys goddess of radical self transcendence you are waking up and experiencing the radical pleasures of letting go chinamasta the headless goddess has come to guide you in this massive state of transformation look we have the fool we have the world there's so much of love there is wheel of fortune there things are changing energies are moving maybe faster for you than for the other person but it's a transformational time for this connection. As you turn passion into spiritual energy, Kundalini primal energy is rising and you have given up a role you once carried to step up more fully into your power. Don't feel fear in the state of transition. Chinamasta's gift is to transmute the darkest of times into the most powerful of energies carry her fierceness as you tear off a former head you once had and experience the inner peace that comes with being divinely yourself i feel this message is more for the energy connected to you than directly yours and it is for you i feel to send across this message that it's okay do not carry the fear of the past be fearless know that the divine is guiding us and the divine is blessing this connection and on this beautiful blessed note my gemini's i'm gonna take your leave i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods